Alright, you guys, so what up? It's Losing here again. I had a, you know, specifically a user asking me to, um, sort of like give us like some sort of more info, big detail stuff, basic sort of concept of how to use the XP store. So that's what I'm doing right here. This may be sort of quick, maybe sort of long. I'm not real sure. I'm just going to explain this the best I can. Now, the first thing about UXP Explorer, I think all you guys need to know just to make sure that you guys don't get sort of um, your files mixed up is that whenever you put anything on UXP Explorer or whenever you take anything off your USB drive through like your Xbox, it will still be on, it will still show up on UXP Explorer. So, like as of right now, and I click on content, all this stuff, this is actually on here. Before, I had a lot of extra files that were on here, but when I exert them to my Xbox, like they wouldn't show up because I already moved them back to my hard drive. So say that you have a profile that you modded your achievements on and then you move it back to your hard drive. Make sure you go back and just delete it after you're done. That way you can just clean up USB flash drive and make a lot of things simpler. Now first thing um, to let you guys know, as you can see, whenever you first click open device, you'll see a couple of two files. Um, you'll, have, you'll always have one that will have the zeros. Or if you don't have one that has the zeros, and maybe because you don't have a profile here. Once you move a profile, the first thing you, you you know the way to tell that that's the profile you're gonna wanna mod is if the is if it starts at the E. If it starts at the E, you know that's a profile. So this is my one profile right here. I know this is a profile. Now do you have a whole bunch of zeros lined up. This will contain your um your th your gamer picture and themes. So this will th these right here are some themes and gamer pictures that I have just to let you guys know they're associated with that profile. All right, and then when you click on the profile, the FF 7 D1. This is gonna be this is only, this is going to be straight to the to the profile itself. Nothing will be in this folder. When I say profile itself, I mean whenever you click on FFE, this will be this um this file right here would be used from everywhere to monitor your gamer tag, to monitor your achievements, basically anything that gets down and gritty with only the profile itself. This will lead to that. Now, if anything else leads to game saves and stuff, any type of things with game saves or modding your campaign, that will be around here. Whenever you move the game save over to that profile. So, example, this one right here is for Left 4 Dead 2, and every game has their own game ID. And if you don't know the game ID, you can look it up on Google or something to use a model. They have their own like game ID search engine. Another thing I want to go over, as I'm right here, as you can see in the bottom of these, you have a couple like three little red, three little black dots. You can click on that, and that's your back button. As you can see, I just clicked it. I'm gonna click it again. It'll take me back to the main screen, to content right here. So, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. And this is the updated USB Explorer. You can tell you got an inject folder, a rename, and delete, inject, and extract. Now, from what I found, I don't, I don't usually ever use rename, or I don't you ever use um, um, new folder. I usually just inject folder and inject and extract and delete because these are my main three. Those are my main three, main four actually buttons that I use. So, you know, that's just some. Those are a couple tips to do. And um, that you never want to open a device manually unless you have any type of problems, depending on what operating system you're using. I mean, I'm using Windows 7, it's working perfectly for me. So, um, yeah, I would just say, you know, just sort of, you, you always want to clip your USB flash drive clean, you know. Once you move something back to your hard drive or whatnot, make sure you just move it back and stuff. I got a pretty big USB flash drive. It's, US, it's a 2 gigabyte, not that big, but not too small, so I'm going to store a lot of stuff on here. You know, just make sure you clean it up or something. That way it makes a lot of your modern stuff modding easy and um, I know a lot of people have been having some a lot of problems hopefully this will solve it up a bit just to give some basic stuff as I was saying before you know your profiles will start with the E it's pretty much you know I can't really you know describe how to figure out which one's yours to give series of them I would just say you know make sure that's the only profile on there and then you know and write that down and you have a whole bunch of zeros in here that will deal with your themes gamer pictures and yeah, your themes and gamer pictures that's pretty much it and yeah, if you want to insert gamer pictures and stuff, you know, that's how you do that with your gamer pick injector. I may put a touch on that later on. So, it was just sort of, you know, a brief little run through, not a big detail thing. If you guys are having any problems at all. And, um, if you guys have any, any specific problems, like big things, so leave a comment below and I'll try to get to it if I can. And that's really it. Peace.